Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Krosama here. So I am officially announcing my Char Month build. Uh, so what Char Month is, if you go look at Zaka Aurelis' video, uh, it's basically just, you know, a community build. So everyone's going to get together, use the hashtag uh, Char Month, and you are just going to build anything that's kind of similar to Char in some way, shape, or form. So whether it's a Zaku, Hyakushiki, or just the red color scheme, maybe a gold color scheme, uh, whatever you really want to do that is just related to Char. So I'm going to do my take on it. And I've already seen a lot of unique uh, builds so far, like work in progresses. So I was like, I want to be a little unique as well. I don't want to just build a mobile suit and that's it. So I have a lot of things here that is just... It's like, what does all this relate to to Char, except for the obvious Zaku 2? So the first thing I do have is the materia. Now this is going to be the core part of this entire build. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this little lady into a Zaku 2. Uh, I've never done this before. I never made an M MS girl kind of suit. So I do have some references. I've seen people's you know builds before. I'm hoping I can find maybe some other individuals that have built it. I can kind of like pick their brain, um, you know, through Facebook, like saying, "Hey, can you just give me a couple of pointers?" Uh, but I've already have a good understanding about what I need to do in order to make a Zaku 2 kit uh, fit on a uh, Frame Arms girl. So I'm gonna do my best. I do have ideas, and I do like the short hair. So. I some of the ideas I do have is uh, obviously painting the hair blonde uh, just because this is uh, kind of like a char uh, gender bent girl and then uh, some of the armor sleeves and everything we're doing some red and I have already have um, water slide decals I can use so there's a lot of things I'm going to fit but I'm not going to make like the entire suit you know fit on her it's really just going to be parts like the shoulder pads uh, probably going to do maybe the hands. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do the hands just yet. Uh, but I'm also going to do the weaponry. And I'm going to do uh, maybe the helmet. It's just going to go right on top here instead of like across the, uh, the the eyes. It might just sit like a hat. I think that's going to be the best route. Uh, and then, you know, the backpack. I'll probably throw that on, on her. Maybe the, the skirts. I might put the skirting right there. And I'll do the fitting of the legs. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... Maybe not as beautiful. It's probably going to be a little messy, but this is going to be my first time doing this. So I'm hoping it's going to come out okay. But I'll still do an unboxing of her. I'll still do a full review of her before I start breaking her apart and actually painting. Next is going to be the two love toys. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm doing with this. Uh, just know that this does relate to this overall diorama thing that I'm doing. Uh, not really much of a diorama as, as, as much of a scene. But if y'all want, I could unbox these in its own separate videos. Just so that way y'all can see exactly what these are. But yeah, these are kind of like on the side. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it. Now, I do have the movable body, so I did not realize that this is significantly smaller than a Frame Arms girl. I honestly thought it was going to be the same exact height for the most part, but I seen a picture that uh, Zach sent me, and boy, oh boy, this is like significantly smaller. And I was going to just do like a, a semi-fitting of uh, these two, because I'm not using this kit. Like, it's it looks cool, it's a part of like the comparisons, but for the most part, I really don't need it so i'm i'm just gonna go ahead and th you know kit bash these two together i still think they're gonna look good and for the most part but yeah I, I i'm gonna have to maybe readjust some things uh but more or less i still should be able to go ahead and combine these two and then some of the extra frame arm stuff i do have or even uh megami device like the uh, water slide eyes and maybe even like the hair and all that that should be easy to go ahead and just adjust and of course, you know I'm using the Zaku 2 as kind of the uh, the add-on model to the Materia. So just going to probably, I'm not even going to really, I don't know. I'm not going to build the entire thing because I, I just need parts. So this is probably not going to get unboxed nor reviewed. I'm just going to take what I need from this and then uh, you know keep pushing forward. And also I do have a nice wooden base, so uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint this. I was thinking about doing uh, black and white tile, but I'm not too sure. I, I don't feel super confident in my painting abilities and masking, because I would have to like mask everything to get proper tiles. Uh, so we'll see. I, it really depends on the end of the month how my project is looking, and we only have, what, three weeks left of this month, so this may just be a blanketed uh, color, and that's gonna be about it. 
Now, lastly, I do have the paints. Um, I'm, I'm not going to gather all the paints up just to show you, but uh, I will be, you know, painting this in pretty much the traditional red. Uh, like I said, some of the hair, the hair is going to be uh, blonde, and pretty much the rest is going to be in correlation to a Zaku too. So, I mean, the, the paints are going to be fairly straightforward of what you know a Zaku two looks like, as well as a RX seven eight dash two, and that's really going to be it. And I'm going to paint these things as well. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see how all this is going to turn out. I'm hoping it's going to turn out good. I might not be able to finish at the end of the month because I do have the uh, Sinanju Stein I'm still painting, which that should be done by this week. And I also have the RG New Gundam, which I need to build and review. So after those two kits are done, I am finished with building anything else. Uh, so we'll definitely try and, like, I don't know, move this whole project forward. So... That's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of work in progress stuff. I'm probably not going to post any of the work in progress in terms of a video. Um, but if you are in my Discord, you can go ahead and see all the work in progress uh, pictures there. And I'll probably post some in the community tab here on YouTube. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.